Howdy y'all. Welcome to Serving Up Plumbing with David Butler. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the other PEX, PEX A. Upanor is what the brand is that most of us use, but it is PEX A and there are other brands out there. But before we get into all those details on how to install it and how to put it together, remember, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Now, let's talk about PEX A and how there's differences in it and PEX B and how you install PEX A. These are PEX A fittings, specifically Upanor fittings in this case, but PEX A has lots of different types of fittings. Upanor happens to be one of the brands that's probably the most major brand and it's great pipe. Remember, I'm not sponsored by Upanor, but I do wanna let you know Upanor is the one that we see the most around our area at least. There is Jones Stevens that makes PEX A. There are other companies that make PEX A. It all works really well, but right now I'm using mostly Upanor fittings. So here we have PEX A fittings, PEX A tools, how we install them, PEX A rings, and the different types. We have brass PEX A fittings, we have composite. Again, like we were talking earlier, a lot of us are using composite fittings now because we're worried that too much calcium is gonna build up in these fittings. So the composite fittings seem to work very well. I haven't seen any failures in them. If you have, let me know in your comments. How do we put it together? Well, this is expandable pipe. That's the amazing thing. Now remember, this is PEX B and this is PEX A. Usually PEX A is somewhat translucent. Not always, but you can kind of see through it. Not so with the PEX B. PEX B is generally darker colors. Even on the white, it's pretty solid white. When I say translucent, as I said, you can almost see my finger through it. Now, what this does is this expands. These are two types of expanding tools. Of course, who can beat the Milwaukee expander? Uh, Rigid makes one also, it's a great tool. This is if you're doing a lot of Upanor daily. I would recommend having one of these. In fact, this is a very easy tool to use, it works great. This is a manual expanding tool. If you don't do very many and you're only gonna do a few, this is a very economical tool that you can buy to do a few Upanor fittings, but it can really get a lot of work quickly. We're gonna be using the Milwaukee expanding tool today. Now, as you can see, this particular expanding tool will use the half inch head, the three quarter inch head, and the one inch head. Then they make another tool for going larger. Upanor goes on up to two inch, maybe even larger than that, but we don't ever use anything larger than that. Our general piping is gonna be somewhere between half and one inch. These tips are interchangeable. They just screw off and you change the tip out to another one. One thing about these tips, if you notice, I just got grease on my hand. You do need to periodically grease this on the inside. That keeps it releasing. If you don't, it'll wear on the inside and have a lot of problems. Make sure you read your instructions on your tool to make sure and give it the longest life possible. Now, how do we do this? Well, it is an expandable pipe, but we have to have our expandable rings. We have half inch, three quarter, one inch. We're gonna be doing half inch fittings today. So we're gonna be using a half inch ring. Now this only goes on the pipe one direction. We have some PEX A right here. This happens to be Upanor PEX A Aquapex. This will slide only on one direction. We can't put it on the other way. And it stops when it gets on all the way. You have to push it all the way down. It has actual stops built into it right there. So you push it on all the way there, then you slide your expanding tool in it, expand it a little bit, and work it all the way down, and then you expand it that last time, and very quickly, you go slide it onto your pipe, work it all the way up, and that's it. This is gonna shrink really, really tight on that fitting, and now you have a finished product. That's how you use PEX A. It expands, then it shrinks down, and that's your finished product. You've got a watertight sealed joint right there. One more time, we'll do it again with this one. This is a composite fitting. Again, this only slides on one direction. You put it on, you put your expanding tool in. We very quickly slide our fitting all the way on. 
right up to the stops. Make sure you get it all the way on. And you can see, like we said, it was kind of translucent. This is going to shrink down, and in a matter of minutes, it is ready to turn the water pressure on. Again, these fittings are kind of like the PEX-B. You can rotate this fitting in the pipe, and it doesn't hurt it. It won't leak. This is very flexible pipe. The other wonderful thing about this piping is freezing. This pipe can actually freeze 10 times the freeze-thaw cycle of copper. Soft copper and copper pipe will freeze and it will burst and split. PEX can freeze and it expands, as you saw we expanded it here, and then it'll shrink back down. Now, if the fittings freeze too much, they can freeze and burst, but generally the pressure will be released on the piping here. So, PEX is very good for running in attics, running in ceiling spaces. Now, you do still need to insulate it, and in most places now they require thermocell or Armaflex insulation that has three-quarter inch wall if it's anywhere in unconditioned space. So make sure and insulate it. Don't put it outside where it's not protected. It will still freeze and burst if you run it down a wall unprotected. And insulation will only do so much when you're outside. So, PEX-A, Upanor, expandable fittings. Again, we don't see near as much of this in residential here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, but I know there's some cities around the country that this is all they see nearly. And also remember, if you cut this fitting off, you can go back with PEX-B crimp rings and crimp fittings if you need to. So if you're on an Upanor system that's on an entire house and you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex and you're one of our plumbers around here that just does PEX-B, all you gotta do is cut it off and you can tie right back on with your PEX-B. But Upanor is a great pipe. PEX-B is a great pipe, PEX-A is a great pipe. There's different ways of joining it, all good things. And this is what we're seeing most everywhere in all new homes. Well, as we know now, PEX-A or Upanor, as a lot of it is around here, is a great pipe. I hope this video has helped you learn how to install PEX-A, how to put it together, the benefits of it. I hope you've liked the video. Please hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, let me know what your thoughts are on PEX-A versus PEX-B. I'd love to hear them from you plumbers out there. And make sure and tell your friends, the butler did it.